subscribe this channel. Student, up to this we discuss about the important theorems. The first one is the tangent theorem. This theorem is tangent is perpendicular to the radius. Then it's converse. Means that the line perpendicular to the outer end of the radius is called as the is the tangent to the center. Then third one is the tangent segments drawn from the external points are convert. Now we use these three theorems to solve this next practice set 3.1. The first question of this is in the figure the radius of circle is 6 cm. Line AB is tangent at, at point A. Answer the following question. First one is what is the measure of angle CAB? CAB is a measure of the radius and what? What is the distance of point C from the line AB? AB is a distance of point C. Why? Then distance of AB is 6 cm. Find the distance of BC. Then what is the measure of angle ABC? Now and why? For this, first I have to join this segment AC and segment BC. Student, this line is perpendicular to this radius because this is the tangent to the circle, so here is right angle. So I have to start the solution of the first is solution. First one. What is the measure of angle CAB? Mean that measure of angle CAB is equal to question mark. And why? Now student, here is this is the line tangent AB is perpendicular to the radius. Means that here right line AB is perpendicular to segment AC. The reason is that by using tangent theorem. Tangent theorem. You have to write this in shortly only the tangent theorem. Tangent theorem. This theorem is the tangent drawn from external point is perpendicular to its radius. Now then if this is perpendicular therefore angle C This is our reason why and this is the 90 degree measure of that angle CAB. Okay, this is our first question. Then second sub question is, now what is the distance of point C from the line AB? AB person chanter ki jani why? Now here line AB is perpendicular to the segment AC. Here line AB is perpendicular to the segment AC because this is the tangent theorem. Tangent theorem. Mean that therefore segment AC is the radius here. Now the radius of the circle is given here. How much? 6 cm. Therefore here segment AC is radius. Now here is radius is given. Radius is equal to how much? 6 cm. Therefore, the distance of point C from the line AB is how much? 6 cm. The answer is full cm. Therefore, the distance, distance of point C, point C from line AB is, AB is, 6 cm. Mean that this is the radius of the circle. Then third one is distance of AB is equal to how much? 6 cm. Then what is the distance of BC? Now look carefully. If AC is radius mean that 6 and this is also 6 cm. Now then we use this right angle triangle then by using Pythagoras theorem. Therefore, in triangle ABC, angle A is equal to how much? 90 degree. Therefore, by using Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. This theorem is that hypotenuse square means that BC square is equal to AC square plus AB square. Sum of the remaining side square. Then substitute the value. AC is 6 square plus this is also 6. Means that 36 plus 36. Therefore, B 
BC is equals to how much? 72. Mean that BC square is equal to 72. Therefore, taking square root of both sides. Square root of both sides. Both sides. We get square root of BC square is BC. Is equal to in root of how much? 72. I have to factorize this as 36 into 2. Therefore, BC is equal to 6 root 2 centimeter. Therefore, the answer in full sentence, distance of BC is equal to 6 root 2 centimeter. Then, sub question number 4. What is the measure of angle ABC? Now, here we have to find out the measure of angle ABC. This is also 6 root. Now, the question 4 is what is the measure of angle ABC and Y? Now, look here. Measure of angle ABC. Here is student AC is equal to AB. Here is AC is equal to AB. Is equal to how much? 6 cm. Therefore, therefore, triangle ABC is and isocellus. Isocellus right angle triangle. All of you know that in isocellus right angle triangle, these two angles, angle opposite to equal sides are also equal, in that they are congruent. So that angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. Let it should be X because here I have right. Angles opposite to equal sides or congruent sides. Now, all of you know that sum of all angles of triangle is 180 degrees. So, that by using this angle ABC plus angle ACB plus angle CAB is equal to 180 degrees. The reason is that sum of all angles of triangle is how much? 180. This is the theorem we have to see in nice time. Then substitute this value. This unit is the x. This is also x. Plus this is 90 degree is equal to how much? 180 degree. Transfer this, this addition, this, adding these two and transfer this we get that. Direct I have right here. Twice x is equal to 180 minus 90 is equal to subtraction is also 90 degree. Then divide it by 2. We get that x is equal to how much? 45 degree. Here I have write divided by 2. Then x is these two angles. Now we have to find here angle ABC. So that therefore angle ABC is equal to angle AC. How much degree? 45 degree. Therefore, the angle ABC is equal to 45 degree. Can you understand this first question? There are sub, there are four sub questions in this first question. We see the next one. The next question, question number two. In the figure, who is the center of the circle? From point R, segment RM and RN are the tangent touching the circle at point M and N. If OR, OR is given here 10 cm, OR is how much? 10 cm and radius of the circle is 5 cm. Then, first one is what is the length of each tangent segment? Student, we know that the third theorem, tangent drawn from external points are equal, means that by using this theorem, these two segments are equal here. What is the measure of angle MRO? MRO is equal to and what is the measure of angle M R N? H kimmat find karaji. Three sub questions are there for three marks. Now look here. For this first I have to join the segment O N and segment O N. Student all of you know that this is the tangent and this is the radius. They are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, in solution I have write the solution. Draw segment O M and segment O N. Here is segment RM is perpendicular to the segment OM and segment RN is perpendicular to the segment OM. 
This is by using tangent theorem. Tangent theorem. Okay, sir. Then I have to take the solution of the first one is here. I am writing first question. What is the length of each of the tangent segments? So for this, I have to find out the value of R M. For here is radius is five centimeter. We use this in any one triangle. In that in triangle, in triangle. O M R angle O M R is equals to how much 90 degree by using this tangent theorem. Then O M is equals to 5 centimeter and O R is equals to 10 centimeter, which is given. Therefore, by using Pythagoras theorem, Pythagoras. This theorem tells us that hypotenuse square means that OR square is equals to OM square plus RM square. Substitute this value. OR is 10 square is equals to 5 square plus RM square. 10 square is 100 is equals to 25 plus RM square. Transpose this 25. We get that minus 25. Is equals to R M square. Subtraction is 75 R M square. Taking square root, we cannot find out the square root. So write down in the square root of 75 is equals to R M. Here I have write taking square of both sides. Then factorize this one is this one is 25 three is M is equals to R M. Therefore, 5 root 3 is equals to R M. Therefore, R M is equals to 5 root 3 centimeter. Therefore, R M is equals to R M is equals to 5 root 3 centimeter. The answer in full sentence is that the length of each tangent. Therefore, the length of length of each tangent is 5. Yamaru is 30 degree. Yamaru is. 
is 30 degree plus this one is also in our way is 30 degree mean that angle M R N is equal to how much degree 60 degree therefore we write the answer in full sentence first question is what is the length of each candle so that the length length of each candle is 5 root 3 centimeter. Second one is this is 5 root 3. What is the measure of angle MRO? Here is MRO. Therefore, measure of angle MRO is equal to how many degree? 30 degree. And third one is what is the measure of angle MRN? Third one is measure of angle M R N is equal to how much? 60 degree. This is our answer of the question. Okay, we see the next one. Question number third is segment R N and R N, R N and R N are tangent segments of the circle of a circle with center. Through that segment O R is the is bisect or bisect angle M R N as well as angle M O N. मतलब इस हर सेगमेंट का दोगुना तो बाइसेक होती है दाखवाई से. For this student, I write its solution. Given is that. Given का एक एक बोला. ये थे O is the center of circle. O is the center of circle. Then segment R M. Segment R M and segment R N are tangent drawn from the point R. This is our given. Then to prove. To prove is that segment O R segment O R bisect bisect angle M R N as well as angle M O N. For this it is proved. Now student, this is the tangent and this is the radius here. All of you know that the theorem, tangent segment theorem, tangent theorem, sorry tangent theorem, tangent is perpendicular to radius, means that here is right angle. So we use this one is in this proof here. Now we have to show that this segment is bisected. So I have to show these two triangles are congruent. Now how to take look carefully. Here I have to write here segment RM is perpendicular on segment OM and segment RN is perpendicular on segment OM because tangent theorem. Then we do two triangles here. Which triangles? In triangle. O, M, R. O, M, R. And triangle. O, N, R. Look at O, M, R. O, N, R. Now first I will take here segment. R, M. Each congruent with segment. R, N. Here is. Tangent drawn from the external points means that we show the tangent segment theorem. Now, student, these two triangles you have to show by using three tests. First one is I have to hear side, side, and, and this side also you have to take means that yes, yes, yes. Then S, A, S and then hypotenuse side theorem. Ya pe ki konte hi ek ayat test ne tumi hi do triangle congruent ho shakta. Me ya side apna ta ki yeh side 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 ki ho. Sare now here R M is congruent with R M. Then I have taken segment O M is congruent with segment O N because here that I of same circle. Third one is segment OR is congruent with segment OR because common side. Therefore, this 
these two triangles O M R is formed to be triangle O N R by using yes 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 student. You have to show these two triangles congruent by using yes 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 and hypotenuse side theorem. Any one of them you have to use here. Now then the remaining means that the corresponding angles are also congruent. So that therefore angle M R O is congruent with angle N R O and angle O M R. Sorry, M O R is congruent with angle N O R because corresponding angles of congruent triangle. Now, if these two angles are congruent. Here, this angle is congruent with this, and this is also congruent with this. Mean that this segment is the bisector of these two angles. Mean that, therefore, segment segment O R O R bisect angle M R N as well as as well as angle M. line AB line AB is 
parallel with line CD. This is in your given. These two tangents are parallel to each other. Now here is line XY is parallel to AB. AB is parallel to CD. Therefore, line AB is parallel with line CD is parallel with line XY. Can you understand up to this? Okay, then now then if these three lines are parallel to each other, then this angle is how much? 90 degree by using tangent theorem. I will write here also angle. Therefore, angle O M A is equals to 90 degree. And another angle is O M C is equals to also 90 degree because this is tangent theorem. Tangent. Tangent is perpendicular to the radius. By using this, this is right angle. Therefore, this angle AMO plus MOX. Look here. AMO plus MOX is, this is also 90 degree means that this both having addition is, look carefully how to find out its addition. These two angle is supplementary. So that we can find out the measure of angle M O X here. So here angle A M O plus angle M O X is equals to 180 degree because supplementary angles. Angles of parallel lines. The measure of the supplementary angle is 180 degree. Here is substitute here. AMO is AMO means that OMA is 90 degree plus angle MOX is equals to 180 degree. Transpose it, we get that angle MOX is equals to 180 minus 90 is equals to how much? 90 degree. Similarly, we can find Similarly, angle NOX is equals to how much degree? 90 degree. Mean that angle MOX is equals to angle NOX is equals to how much? 90 degree. Means these two angles are adjacent. Adjacent angle. Shedar Chebaga adjacent as well as the supplementary. Supplementary means that both having addition is also 180. So I have to write here. Therefore, angle M O X and angle N O X are adjacent, adjacent as well as as well as supplementary. Supplementary angles. If they are adjacent and supplementary, mean that this ray, ray O M. And ray O N are the opposite ray. Therefore, ray O M and ray O N are are opposite rays. Okay. Then, if these two ray, ray O M and ray O N are the opposite ray, then this point M O N are the collinear points. Therefore, point M O N are collinear points. Collinear points. Mean that this M N is the distance between these two parallel lines. Here M N. Here M N is the distance. between between two parallel lines AB and CD. Therefore, MN is equals to therefore MN is equals to twice into how much? Radius. Because this is diameter here. MN is the diameter here. So that twice into radius. Therefore, M 
Mm is equal to twice into radius is three one. How much? Four point five. That right here. Radius is four point five. The product of it is M N is equal to nine. Therefore, the value of M N is equal to how much? Nine centimeter. The answer in full sentence is that the distance between the two parallel tangents of a circle is. Therefore, answer. The distance between the distance between 